What's up, fool? It's your boy Black Hatch. You're back at you. another short video. This video's gonna be about America. America is unhealthy. It's unhealthy for you. Damn sure is. You know, since I've been traveling around and things, I can, it's like you're on the outside looking in. And you see what's going on back home and things there. You see some really fucked up shit, you know. Really fucked up shit. You see now, a lot of young people, they're just dying off, you know. You know, the females, too, just dying off. It's like, damn, in their 40s, you know. It's like, if you can make it, make it past 40, you must call yourself a fucking senior citizen back, back home, you know. It's like every goddamn week I'm getting calls and, you know, letters and emails or whatever saying this person passed, this person passed. It's like, damn, you know. This person, these people were not, like, addicted on drugs or living a life. Just normal shit, you know. I guess what Allah say you got to go, you got to go. I always say it, no matter what you don't keep you. You going to the gym, jogging 10 miles a day, drinking that fuck all that shit, protein, milk, and all that bullshit. When your time is up, the creator says you got to go. But anyway, America, the food tastes different. The juices taste different. Now, if, if you lived there your whole life, you, you wouldn't probably want to know the, the difference unless you, you're old, you're older, it's like my age, how food tasted back we said the 70s. There's a different taste to it. And I tell people that, like, think I'm bugging. But ain't no bugging. It's true shit, you know. For the, the unhealthy eating, if you go into Walmart and then you see all the, the big rolls and rolls of cookies and chips, you see motherfuckers in them, these, um, them electric little chairs that roll around in, you no, know, reaching, grabbing fucking them Oreos and shit. I just want to tip their fucking ass over them big motherfuckers. Tip their ass over. Where the fuck out of here, you know. You're killing yourself, you know. Not trying to say I'm the, I'm the best goddamn health. I thank God every day that I'm alive for my lifestyle. But anyway, I'm trying to tell you that America's unhealthy. Look at the kids, especially when I was a little kid. We wasn't getting no fresh fruit juices and things like that. You went and got uh, um, some Tropicana. You was like, oh, this is good. But now if I taste Tropicana juice, all the sugar in that shit, I'm like, ugh, I got to spit that shit out, you know. Imagine all the little kids out there, you know, their they mama give them juice. If you go in the hood, you gonna see little kids with fucking um, bottles with Kool-Aid in that motherfucker. So now you see kids now 13 years old, 12 years old, fucking diabetics. Got diabetes, diabetes 2 and shit. Some fucking eight, you know, 18s. Got to get the insulin shots in the stomach and things like that because of sugar. They are not get, don't get no fresh fruits, vegetables and things like that. They might get canned foods a lot. If they do get some kind of vegetables, we'll just, once they've been inside that can and no more nutrients inside there, they're not getting no fresh juices. Like you pick an apple, orange, no fresh pressed juice and, and tell the kid to drink that. Most likely you gonna go to the store, you gonna pick you up something that uh, high C or some shit like that, that's filled with sugar and you think, oh, since I'm drinking juice, it's more better. No, it's not. Only thing I see health in stores out there is fucking water. And water's expensive now. You know, it depends what kind of water you drink. If it's, it's low pH or high pH, it doesn't, it doesn't make a goddamn difference because it's, it's like they want you to die. They forcing things on you to eat. The meat filled with cancers, like pork, have cancer inside. You can squeeze the pork and you see, you see the cancer is ooze out of it. So now the butcher... He chops that little piece off, get the cancer part out there, and sells it. Like there's no more cancer still left in that goddamn pork. And sells it. So you go buy it, and you feed your kid this shit here. So it's fucking them up. Just imagine all the worms that you got in your body. Worms and shit. I was listening to Dr. Sebi one time. He's like, um, you got to clean insides out. Get you a good colon cleanse, you know. Because if you don't get a good colon cleanse, you can't fight diseases and things like that. So just imagine, if you just went and got your good colon cleanse, drank water for about a couple of weeks, got some fruits, how your body would change. Maybe your vision even get better. Put like this here. I got a colon cleanse maybe um, a couple weeks ago. I bought some of the stuff there from the store called acne, some raspberry shit. Okay, supposed to take two tablets for seven days. Shit. I took two tablets by 9 o'clock in the morning. I was like, man, this shit don't fucking work. But, excuse me, about three hours later, that shit jumped into a fucking effect. 
Wow, that shit had me going to the bathroom. I felt, after I finished, I felt fucking life. Like every, I, I thought internal organs was coming out of my ass. I seen, I looked in the goddamn bowl, I saw cheese noodles from when I was eight years old. All that shit flushed out. That whole week, that I, I just felt much better. I was like, damn, this, I, I need this shit real bad. So I suggest everybody out there, get you a good colon cleanse, you know. Clean your body, or get you a good detox. You know, you drink your, your lemons and water. Put down them sodas and stuff, you know. Leave that Kool-Aid, them quarter waters. Stop giving that shit to the kids, you know. Stop giving to them. Little kids are fucking a beast now. You know, ain't like back in days where they went outside, went to the swings, went to the park, climbing these little, um, we call monkey bars and, you know, and doing things like that and playing things. Kids are less active nowadays. So they're less active. Their metabolism is real slow. So you got to. Feed them better. Give them good things to drink. And also get outside with that kid. Don't just put all the kids there. Our kids don't do this. The lazy ass goddamn parents need to do something with them kids. You know, show them what we used to do back in days. Run around, play tag with them, hopscotch, jump rope with the little girls. Do something. Because America is unhealthy. It's designed for you to die. It's designed. And now I'm looking back on um, videos I see of my block back in days. I see guys my age, younger than me, walk around with canes and shit. Some dudes got chairs and shit. I'm like, damn, what the fuck is going on there? What the fuck is going on? Mother in the late thirties and forties walk around with canes. Uh, no exercise, bad eating, it's fucking our people up. And we gotta know, like that was that dude Yada said, we gotta get in tuned, you know, with our shit there, you know, with the health. We got to, you know. Leave that toothpaste alone they got there with that fluoride shit. I tell all some of us for you can go on Amazon and pick up this toothpaste that has no fluoride. Called Neem, N-E-E-M. I just from India. You no, know, clean teeth good. No fluoride. You don't want no fluoride. Stop drinking that goddamn tap water unless you got a filter, you know. You gotta try to eliminate much toxins as you can that enter your body. You gotta try if you wanna live longer. You know, especially you got kids out there, you know. You want to live long. You want to at least fucking pass away when your kid's an adult. You don't want to live too early. So, if, therefore, you got to do your part. You got to do your part. Eat better. Drink some water. Put down the quarter waters and that goddamn. Cut down the beers. Cut down all that. You got, a lot of things you got to do. Get some fresh vegetables. Start juicing shit up. you feel much better. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to lose all this tummy and shit and get down because I need it real bad. Doc told me, you got to lose a little weight. I thought I was good, but um, you're not really good to go to the doctor, get them checkups. Don't wait till you feel in pain and you fucking got there stage four cancer and you go to the goddamn doctor and he's like, hey man, it's too late. You got about a good three weeks left. Like, oh man, I should went to the doctor early and got tested. Do not wait. Get your test, you know. Get them prostatis test for the brothers out there. You know, you're 50 years old. Get the prostate checked out. You know, might got prostatis cancer, you know. Check your heart. You get EKGs on your stuff, man, you know. Because we live a rough life. It's genetically in there, so we have high blood pressure. Most of us do, the brothers. So, you know, you got to check. Go to the doctor. Don't wait until you're in damn pain. Just go get your checkup, like, you no know, twice a year. At least stuff like that, you know. The sisters, too. You know, get your checkups, you know, get your, you know, Check your breasts and things like that. Because brothers get that cancer there too now. Don't sleep on it, no. Take care. We got to take care of ourselves, family. We got to take care of ourselves. You know, because we're strong people. But um, we got we to maintain what we got. And maintain what you got. In the mouth.